Hi, I'm James Bernard with Propellerhead Software, and what I'm going to show you today is some advanced techniques that you can do with Reason using the BV512 vocoder. Uh, this particular effect was one of the new ones that we included in Reason 2.5, and it's often used for people to get a robot voice type effect. That's one of the most common things people do with vocoders. You apply a voice as the modulator and then play a line on your synth to get a robot voice. But there's actually a number of things that we, we could use this vocoder for. For example, we could use it to not use a, a voice as a modulator, but maybe use a drum beat. And I've actually got something set up here where I've got a drum loop and I'm using it to feed the modulator input of the vocoder. And then I've got a subtractor synthesizer and that's feeding the carrier input. Just show you what that looks like really quickly. As I flip the rack around, I've got the output of the subtractor coming into the carrier input on the left side, and then the modulator input is coming out of one side of the Dr. Rex player playing a drum loop. Um, you can hear what that drum loop sounds like beforehand, and that's right here. Okay, so that's my drum loop that I'm going to use to get a vocoded sound out of it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go into my carrier track here and play some chords on the keyboard, and I'm going to record these as well and get a vocoded drum beat happening on this. So, let's give it a shot. Alright, so I've got that there, and I'm just going to take that and loop it. I'll take from measures five to nine and have that be my measures and I'm going to loop here. So we play that back and now we've got our vocoded parts. And as I work with the modulation levels here, you can really sculpt the sound to be changed in any way. So that's how you can use the vocoder with a drum beat to get a vocoded type drum beat out of it. There's also another way that you can use the vocoder. And if you look over here on the left hand side under the vocoder knob that's right there, you can also set it to an equalizer mode. So what I'm going to do is I've got another song up here. and We'll just close this one out. And this song, it's a very simple song, just has a drum machine and uh, a bass line and another part. And so what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm actually going to use the vocoder I'm going to create it under the mixer, and I'm going to use it as an equalization on the entire mix. So I flip the rack around, and I'm going to take that master left-right output of the mixer and come into the vocoder, and then take the output of the vocoder and have that go on out to my hardware interface, which is coming out of the audio card out of my computer. And when I do that, what's happening is that I'm now using the vocoder as an overall EQ, up to 32 bands of equalization that I can apply on the main mix that's coming out. So I can really use it as a way to sculpt the overall mix a lot more. Alright, so here is the song without the EQ, and then I'll just start applying some EQ onto it. And we'll put it into equalizer mode. Also, using this formant shift, I can change the formant of the EQ that I'm using too, so I can really get some interesting stuff out of it. Now that could be applied to a control knob too. I can take that uh, shift knob and, and control it from external source and really s start doing some interesting things with EQ there. I could also, if I wanted to, take these bands that are here, and I'm just going to use a real harsh sort of four band EQ on this one. And I can have those bands turned on and off through MIDI. I'm going to just shift this back up here. So in that kind of a setup, I can do things with an external controller, be it a controller keyboard, or something that has knobs and sliders. And I can use that. I'll go to my edit MIDI remote mapping and learn from MIDI. And what I'm going to do is just take a couple of, of buttons that are here. I'm going to push one there. So when I do that, I'm now able to turn bands on and off using external MIDI controllers. All right, so when I play the song now, I can do things like this.
So you can use it as a way to get like a DJ EQ out of it. So that's the BV512 vocoder and just a couple of different ways that you can twist it. The key is flipping that rack around and working with some different routings in and out of the vocoder.